Okay, so I'm guessing a lot of you guys know who um, P. Diddy is. For anyone that doesn't know who P. Diddy is, he is well known for um, hosting these freak off parties and having 1,000 bottles of baby oil. And, you know, most of you guys are wondering, well, why are you bringing him up or why is he important to this video? And the reason why he is, is a lot of people wonder why, like, these celebrities won't call, like, come out and, like, call him out on the shit he does, except for, like, Kanye West. And that's mainly because he probably has shit on them. Like, allegedly, he just has a lot of blackmail or something. Especially when it comes to me, uh, Meek Mill. Get up! And so, the thing, uh, that actually reminded me of a story when I was young, in uh, middle school. And I, re I just realized... Thinking back on it, there were so many dildlers in my school. It's actually insane. I used to, I didn't go to any of these schools where it's like maybe, you know, 100 kids total or like 200 kids. Now, nah, my, my, every school I've been to had like maybe 1,000 plus. We were very populated schools. And so this allowed a lot of these diddlers to go under the radar just because they had so much prey. They had so many like um, people to hide behind. It was crazy. And the blackmail really hit home with me because I'm, I'm thinking about, this infamous legend, Daniel the Bear. The Bear, he, he had a problem. The thing about him is that he was the number one plug. He had the vape pens. He had everything a degenerate smoker would want in their life. His vape pens had audio, YouTube, anything. If you wanted to post an Instagram picture, that shit could take a picture too. That shit had butterfly knife attachments. You were able to do tips and tricks with it and everything. I mean, after you took like maybe a millisecond of a hit off it, you're able to smoke screen a whole room. This guy had the top of the top. He had legendary bisque vapable pens. And he had literally everything. Like drinking, smoking, he had it all. But the thing is that he never wanted money for any of this. Like he would take money like in some cases, but he always wanted something a little bit more. It was like a Costco membership. You had to have a subscription to get that shit off him. You had to hit his set of requirements to get um, one of his vape pens. He was not going to give it to no guy that looks like they could fight for themselves. He wanted them zester festers, if you know what I mean. He wanted those scrawny, um, white, very polished kids. That's what he really wanted. He wanted... Like a very certain type of um, young males, right? And so the thing is that after you hit his vape, you were caught in his domain expansion. That was the worst part. And the thing is that uh, most of these kids, I don't know if um, anything happened to him because he actually came before my time. So actually when I got to middle school, like he was still doing it. But he was doing it to maybe like the seniors at this time because uh, he was he like he was like he was a doll at that time. And uh, remember, this is middle school, so senior means eighth grade. And so he he was like he was an absolute monster off the legends I heard. And the reason why I'm bringing him up is because there's a whole justice Justice League. There was a fucking there was um the Bears probably like the Red Skull, and then there was uh, like three more that I'm gonna be going over in this video. They were all just ranking higher and higher and higher. Like these guys were super villains. It was crazy. They were P Diddy. They were P Diddy's and the up and coming. And the thing is that Bear. Once you got hit one of his vapes, you were caught in his domain expansion, like I said. But the thing is that after you took a, a um, hit from his vape, he had like an analysis. He had a like spreadsheet where you had certain ranks. So if you took a vape, uh, like a hit from any of his um, products, you were already at amateur level sucker blower. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the reason why he really wanted to get these... um youngings into smoking and uh just mainly smoking they like the drinking too but mainly smoking is because what is the main thing you do when you smoke you suck and you blow and um you know those type of techniques could be used in very different um situations and in very different applications so he was getting these uh kids or like these young middle school um students caught in that um technique and so he would really train him in the arts and so there was levels you were uh, there was like amateur i think and then there was maybe silver and then maybe gold and then maybe um immortal and then at the top of it was champion once you got hit to champion you hit all the easter egg, uh, easter egg steps you were at the top and you were ready to see the cutscene he had ready in place for you to see like before like you know hitting champion rank you he would probably he would probably diddle you a little until he, you got into his high champion rank. Once you got into his high champion rank, I heard there was a lot of stories about him 
you know, the cutscenes. And the cutscenes were pretty rough. They um, included a lot of the techniques he uh, showed his um, followers. And probably turned a lot of these guys into Zester Festers. And the thing is that a lot of people wonder, why wouldn't, like, they, uh, like, most of those kids come out? Or, like, youngings? But the thing is that, like, really, I don't know about um, the bear. He's the oldest one out of uh, the Avengers right now. And the thing is that he came before my time, so something could have happened to him. Because after, like, I came to school, he basically stopped completely. Or we just never heard of him because maybe he got caught or something. I don't know. I wasn't really in touch with any of this shit. It's just something I uh, recalled. And so, I don't know if there's a happy ending to it. But, um, uh, let's just say one of the victims definitely did not have a happy ending. And so, that one victim that uh, Daniel the Bear had actually turned into the new bear. So we called him Yuri the Bear. So Daniel the Bear, uh, after he got something happened to him or whatever, he was never, like, we never seen him again. It was Yuri the Bear. It was his time to shine. It was like when um Jared Leto got replaced by fucking the ginger guy. I don't know what his name is. Cannon O'Brien. Okay, there we go. And so Yuri the Bear was his uh, successor. And the thing about Daniel the Bear is that he was a lot older. He was a lot more scruffier. Then um, Yuri the Bear. So a lot of kids were actually scared of him because he was basically a fucking adult when we're uh, all in middle school. And so, you know, they really obey, obeyed him. They didn't really want to ever call him out because they were low-key kind of blackmailed. Because if any of you guys know, like, or especially any, like, like when you were young, you would not want your parents to know if you were smoking or any of that because it was basically game over. And especially if you did some zest or fester shit, it is actually game over back then. And so this was before, you know, it was uh, people were, like, very inclusive. This was, like, when shit was at its most edgiest. And so a lot of people didn't really want to come out. And so then Yuri the Bear got introduced, and he was a, uh, he was definitely up there with uh, Daniel the Bear. But the thing about him is that he just didn't have the physical strength attributes. Or he just, he was, like, a lot younger than Daniel the Bear, so he didn't really, like, oppose as much as he did. So, Yuri, usually, the bear, if he got a wrong subject, he usually got his ass beat. And that's why a lot of people know about him, is because he had a lot of failed attempts. He tried to do disaster fester shit, but almost every time he got his ass beat. And, um, <clears throat> don't, don't get me wrong, he got a couple of guys to see the cutscene. And, uh, you know, alright, not, not alright, but like, man... I, I, I wish the better for them, but um, Yuri the Bear, he basically did what the bear did, and so these guys were basically doing the same um, steps, they were using the same uh, loadout and everything, and so that's basically what they did, and this brings me to Thanos, the Thanos of the group. We got the two bears, they were like Red Skull and Green Goblin, compared to <sighs> Chub Schnub. The Chub Schnub, he was actually a menace. He was Thanos. He was the dark side of this uh, of this group of um, degenerates. He was actually insane. The thing about him is that he was known for having two very fat fingers. Oh my god. <sighs> the thing about um, Daniel the Bear and Yuri the Bear is that they were very like... They wanted the thing, uh, the cutscene to be very consensual as much as possible. And you know, it never works out because you know, children can't consent. But the thing about Chubb the Schnub is that um he was a lot more aggressive. And but but the thing about he him it was he was not a zester fester. He was uh he wanted uh he was more into the um, tacos than he was into the how do you say this? Into the pickle, to the eggplant. And so the thing about him is that instead of it being vapes or anything, it was his car. If you got in his car, that was genuinely his domain expansion because at least with the vapes, you could just like never talk to the bears ever again. Once you were caught in the guy's um car, you're not escaping his curse technique, two finger, two finger penetration. And so, the like his two fingers went everywhere they wanted to go. I heard like he used to brag about these stories about um meeting underage um uh, uh middle school students and showing them his curse technique, two finger penetration and the thing is that it was very stressed that his fingers were very fat and um it couldn't, couldn't be pleasant at all i mean um i mean I'm, I'm joking about this but it's very serious like chub the snub was someone you didn't want to mess with he was very aggressive with what he did and um i don't know what really happened to him he uh he's like i don't know if you guys ever saw those like new tiktoks like where the guys be like um 
uh, like they make their whole channel about like having uh, being a loser and having a Mustang and trying to meet up with like high school girls and shit like they peaked at high school but that's basically what this guy was and so Chubb the Snub was definitely the worst there wasn't much to say about him you got in his car it was game over and that brings me to someone I actually did know because these three guys I didn't really know that much they really all like most of them came before my time except for maybe Yuri the Bear but Yuri the Bear was more of a victim than he was a actual like do it like he was definitely one of those um PDF files but um he was not. He was a lot more unsuccessful than he was successful. He was always getting his ass beat. You kind of felt bad for the guy because he got him. He got himself uh, cut, caught in a cutscene, and then on top of getting caught in a cutscene, uh, he got his ass beat most of the time. And um, you know, as as much as I say I feel bad for him, I don't. I don't really. I don't really sympathize with any of these PDF files. And so that brings me to some guy I actually did um, interact with once. And this, we're going to call him the Rhino. The Rhino was basically, he was definitely not the, like, he was um, probably the least worst out of all three, like, all three. But he he was the most definite. He he he, he most likely did it. Uh, out of all those three guys, I mean, there's not hardcore evidence other than maybe word of mouth or them admitting to it. But the, the Rhino, the Rhino was dangerous. The thing about the Rhino is that Rhino was fr uh, good friends with someone I knew. In uh, middle school, and I used to chill with her, and like we had this huge friend, friend group a lot. And the thing is that um, the Rhino never really chilled with us. He had no reason to chill with us because he was a whole lot older than us. Like the youngest I could give him, seventeen. He was a lot like m m like way more older than that. And we were like twelve, thirteen. We were in middle school. We were like sixth, seventh grade. And um, the thing about the Rhino is that uh, let's just say he hooked up with a lot of girls with his uh. With the help of his um, middle school uh, sister, and so basically he would get hooks up, uh, hookups from um, his. Mo it was like a setup. I didn't really know this because we. I, I only realized this when I uh, when we went to these like group um, hangouts, and it was just a lot of like you know guys and girls, uh, especially our age. We never really chilled with anyone older than us. And at one time, her brother came, and I was like, I was kind of weirded out because I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, why why is this um, adult chilling with us? I'm like, is this like a is he watching over us or something? And then I realized this guy's hitting on a fucking middle schooler. He's hitting on uh, one of the girls in the front group. And I know how old she was. She was like literally like my age. She was like 12 or 13. Um, and she was definitely hella fucking young. And I guess uh, the rhino had his um, sights on her. Because bro was really trying to make small talk and riz up a 12 year old, 13 year old. When he was like probably like older than maybe 17 or like max. I could like... Or youngest, I could give him a 17. He was definitely old as shit. He was in high school. And so, like, he was uh, hitting on her and everything. And the reason why I say I know it was almost 100% where he, he tapped that was because uh, the shorty that uh, went with him said, said he did. But also, uh, after he, t because we were chilling in that friend group and he took her away from the friend group and told her one on one in, um, like, his crib. And so after like a couple of days passed, uh, we we got in a friend, like we got in a group chill again, and that girl was in that um chill. And the thing is that her and um the 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 rhino, the rhino's little sister, was talking to the girl that the rhino uh brung to the crib, and they were talking about how the rhino has uh, has absolutely devastated uh the shit out of her. And I'm not gonna lie, I know you know obviously uh children can consent, but um. She she was bragging about how her and her um and her and you know the rhino, you know did the deed, uh to the younger sister and the thing is that the younger sister kind of knew, because they also had sleepovers I guess um after after that day where she was invited and they basically did it over and over again, and uh yeah there's not much to say like these the, the, like these diddlers were existing way before um P Diddy. But, uh, yeah, it was crazy. I didn't really notice in middle school because I didn't really give a shit. I never really um, smoked or did any of this. So I never really ever um, engaged with them. It was more like urban legends and just making fun of them. But uh, I just realized how real this is. I guess the main part of the story is, like, if there's anyone that's chilling with you and you're, like, decently young, don't chill with anyone that's way older than you. It doesn't make you cooler. That just is, There's a high chance the guy's a diddler. And uh, I can't really chill with anyone that's, like, old and has, like, a fucking 12-year-old in their friend group or a 15-year-old in their friend group or in a Discord, like, um, gr group chat 
or especially one on one. That shit is weird. And um, that that's that's it for the video. Be careful who you show with. If you guys really like this video, I know this is very different from what I usually post. I usually uh, post like straight up gameplay, and I commentate over the gameplay and just like my thoughts on the game. But um. If you guys like you know like this style of videos where I just commentate and just make I guess storytelling videos, uh, you know give it a like, show this video some love, and then uh, you know I'll probably make more. I have a lot more um, uh, I guess ammo in the magazine, more like I guess stories to uh talk about. And so if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and sub, and uh, thank you guys for watching.